What's up, folks? New Fitness fam. We are back. We are back. We are back. All right. So today we're gonna talk about pre warm ups. So when I say pre warm ups, I mean a warm up before your warm up. And we're gonna go. I'm gonna go into some some examples. I'm gonna show you here on the foam roller on how you can use the foam roller to get ready for the warm up. All right. So first and foremost. You gotta look at your body like it's like it's a wheel, okay? So like it's like it's a wheel with spokes. You know that spokes. If your body is gonna be at its peak performance, your your wheel has to be in line. So if you if you've ever ridden a bike and your back wheels are all wobbly, you ran over a, a bump, bent the rim or whatever, now it's all all funky. Just look just look at your body in the same way, okay? So unless we straighten out those spokes, bend it back into the right place and get everything rolling and circulating properly, you will never be able to do the max on your deadlifts, max on your squats, bench presses or whatever, whatever, okay? So we're gonna get into some examples. I'm gonna show you some things. You can stretch your hamstrings, your glutes, actually get into the dynamics of foam rolling and showing you how to do it correctly. So here we go. All right, so here we are with our foam roll. Now, one mistake most people make with the foam rolling is they want to jump on the foam roller and just get the rolling and they'll be here and just, just, just rolling all this. And, no. Mistake number one. What you want to do with the foam roller is you want to start with the area that you want to start with. Say, so God, for an example. Start here and find the sweet spot. Okay, so find those spots that is painful in, take your time with it, don't rush it, find that spot, and you want to sit there. Okay, so if you don't want to be here, you know, rolling out the glutes and just find that sweet spot and just sit there. Give it some time to break loose, get those muscles loose, get the blood flowing in those, in those muscles, take your time with it. And this is a, this will actually add a lot of benefit to your exercises. Okay, so the other side, find those sweet spots, and just sit there. Okay, just sit there. Run down to your lower back, find those sweet spots, just sit there. All right. So without getting into great detail. You know, I'll probably put out a video and go through some actual techniques and actual poses that you can get into when using a foam roller. And foam roller is actually something, that one thing I'm gonna start getting my clients to do more so often. So, uh, you functional fitness clients, and you're gonna get ready to get them, especially with the summer coming up. So, getting those bodies aligned, getting those bodies in tune, getting your muscles firing right, getting those kinks, Knots, pains, acid buildup, tears, sprains, all of that stuff, we fixing them right now. So this is one way we can use our own therapy without spending money on expensive doctors and stuff like that. So foam rolling, a workout before your workout, before your workout. All right, so yeah, it's Saturday. I'm about to get ready to go hit these legs and arms. Thanks to my nephew, <laughs> Uncle Phil, your legs are, your arms are bigger than your legs. So yeah, we working on legs every day of the month this week, this month. Sorry about that, but yeah. So we're about to get it in. I just took my NRG, I'm about to put my, my Tachuli on ice. If I get done, I can go ahead and pop a couple of those. And we're about to get it rolling. Functional Fitness Group, we out.